Y'all, you know what it is. This Supreme, and this is the Supreme MPA. Right now, I'm on the market, man. I was just reading comments. You know what I'm saying? Yo, five stars all day, man. Yo, check that one out. You know what I'm saying? And my other man right here. Wow. Yo, me and Ivan want to just say to all of y'all, thank you for the support. Thank you for all of the input and everything. And for that, we got a new update. We added a grid editor to NPA. So, you know, you can use your pads, you can use the keyboard, and now you can use the grid to make a beat. So you don't know how, have to know how to do, 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 do all of that stuff. Boom, just use your grid and just hit the dots, put them in, and hit play, and it'll make the beat for you. That's what it is. All right, let's go. Mode. Here it go. Grid. It says new. See the space here? More updates is coming. All right, so look. You hit grid. There you go. We got grid mode now. Most drum machines, editors, everything. Software, hardware, 808 drum machines, 606, 909, 707. All of those drum machines is basically grid editors, step editors. All right, so what we did is added that to the MPA. Go back real quick. You got choices. You can make a beat with pads. You can make a beat with the keyboard. You can make a beat with the grid. That's what it is. You got three different ways to make a beat. With grid, you don't have to know how to. Let's go back. You don't have to know how to do this. All right, let's go through it. You got four lanes. We ain't calling them tracks. We calling them lanes. Why? Because you have a track already in your sequence. So we gave in your sequence. Now we gave you four lanes. You can consider it tracks as four lanes. One, two, three, four. Four lanes inside of your track. You hit right. It counts. The numbers change right here. Numbers change. It's five, six, seven, eight. It's two bars. All right. Let's just say I want to change it to a one bar loop. I can hit settings and it goes back here to the track manager. The track manager still works the same. All right. So if I want to change the length, I could change the length to one bar. I could change the name same way. We're going to name this beat. It's going to be called Grid Beat. We're going to name the track. The grid, for every track, there's a grid for every single track. So if you make a beat with 10 tracks, you got 10 tracks, You got then you got a grid for each of the 10 tracks. All right? We're going to give this a name. We're going to call this grid. All right? That's what it is. Get rid of that. Go back. Now. Grid, beat, grid. On track zero, zero, we're going to have the grid. All right, I'm make a beat with the grid. Okay, what we can do, we got left and right, we did that. Here goes zoom. If you look, when I hit zoom, the quantize change. Look, I'm zooming out now. The quantize change, I'm zooming back in. 16, 32. 32, we're going back out. 16, 8. All right, so now you can see the whole grid. See it? So, you know, when you count a beat, this is one bar. When you count a beat, it goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If it was two bars, it would go one, two, three, four. And then it would keep counting. Two, two, three, four. Let's make a beat. Let's get a sample. Whatever samples that's already in your sample, your sampler right here, that's already in sample memory. These samples is in sample memory. They from the library, they're in sample memory. Remember that? All right. So when you hit this, it'll bring up those same samples. So there you go. In that first lane, pick sample for lane number one. It's the same samples that's already in the sampler. So I want a bass drum. I want, on this track, I want the snare that goes with B5. I want S5. There you go. I can make a very quick beat right now. I'm going to zoom. Back out, right? Check this out. How quick I can make a beat without hitting the pads. Right? Snare, bass, 
I'm sorry. Go back. I hit the wrong one. Snare. Check it out. All right. I want a hi-hat to go with that. Right? Hi-hat. Here it go. Right? I want to zoom back out. The default is 116, so don't worry about it. All right? There you go. I want my beat to go even faster than 90 beats a minute. Right? I hit settings. Right? Same thing. And I can speed it up. 95. Right? Go back. There you go. Hit play. How cool is that? Let's zoom out so we can look at it. There it goes. That's what it looked like. Do I want to do a boom, boom, bap. You know me. I like boom, boom, baps. Here it goes. Boom, boom, bap. There's the two bass drums I added in. Here we go. Boom, boom, bap. You see it? Boom, boom, bap. The snare drum is green. Boom, boom, bap. Boom, boom, bap. Right, there you go. I want to make that beat skip. All right, and went back to 16 because that's the default. So I can make it go back. I could go out to 32 to add more notes. Go back to 116. I could go back to 18. All right, but I'm gonna do the 16. I want the beat to skip a little bit. All right, I don't want it to skip in the first part of the beat. I want it to skip in the second part of the beat. So I hit right. So there you go. So it looks different, right? Look at the numbers, they change it, right, left. It changes, listen to it. Yo, I want to um, make a roll to the snare. I want the snare to go, did it, did it, did it. Boom, all right, so, but I don't want it to happen in the first part of the beat. I want it to happen in the second part of the beat, all right? Boom, it's 116. I can go like this, very simple. Look, hit it, play. I want my hi hat to go real fast. All right, so I can make it go, dit, 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 but I don't. I want it to go even faster than that. All right, zoom in. There you go. Go back. Look. Look how much space I got. I can add more notes because it's one thirty second. So I'm gonna make a faster hi hat. Watch this. Check it out. Everything, even though it's four, three different samples, all of that is on one track. So keep that in mind. Check this out. I want to show you how versatile this is. I want to add a keyboard to this because you can still use your keyboard with it. Right? Uh, let's go to sample. Uh, I want to use this sample here. I'm going to put it on my keyboard. All right? Let's hit keyboard again. Now remember, it's on one track. If you hit record and play, you're going to erase the track and record just the keyboard. All right. We don't want to do that. We're going to overdub. So we keep everything that's there already and then add the keyboard sound. All right. Here we go. Overdub. Record. Let's just do that. Do it. I want to keep that. Let's go back. Let's see what that looks like. Grid. Look. The keyboard is in there. All right. It put it in the middle. It moves it. The MPA going to move it around. It does it because MPA needs to play it the right way, the way MPA know how to play. It. So it put it on lane three. Now we got basically four lanes filled up. The snare moved down, but that DE1S is right here. That's the keyboard that I played. But all of this is on one track. You have to keep that in mind. All right. I can even add more notes now. Check this out. Uh, I'm going to add a note there. Add a note here. Let's just mess, see what it sounds like. Check it out. You see that? 
yo, you don't like that. I don't like it neither. Let's just say, there you go. All of this stuff can erase just by tapping it. Check that out. Yo, you want to erase a whole lane? It's easy. It's very easy. Um, let's just say, let's zoom. There you go. Those are the rest of the hi-hats, right? I can get rid of these hi-hats real easy, going like this. Look, just like that, right? So let's add some more hi-hats back in. All right? Just to show you this one other way of erasing. Erase lane. I can hit lane. Hi-hat, choose lane to erase. Hit lane. Bow, the hi-hats is gone. Okay? So that's how grid works. Oh, one more thing I got to show you. We did left, right, zoom in, zoom out. Settings is the same as just hitting mode and going to track manager. Or hit settings, it takes you to track manager. I want to change the, I want to get rid of the keyboard thing. If I want to get rid of that and change that sample, use a different sample, that's what pick sample means. So I want to pick a new sample. So I hit choose lane. I want to choose that lane. Then it says pick sample for lane two. Now I can choose a different sample. So there, kibasa. So now I can add a kibasa in there. All right. There you go. All right, let's go back. So show you, so we, we went through it, right? Everything real quick. I want to show you something else real quick, all right? Let's go and make a new sequence, right? Just want to show you something real quick. We're going to leave the lymph at two. I'm not even going to name it because we're going to run out of time, all right? I just want to show you something. Watch this. I'm going to record now. Right? Okay, I hit play, but play will keep it and do it will keep it. Back will erase it, all right? Now check this out, mode, look, what happened, the NPA put what I just played into grid mode for me, kind of cool, right, there you go, that's what I just played, there you go, so you see how the grid editor works, I showed it to you, I came, I saw, I hit him dead in the jaw, you know what I'm saying, so have fun with it, man, and do your thing, also, when you download each update, every time you download an update, they major. We do major construction to the app. Reboot your device. Turn it off, completely off, then turn it back on. Then start the new MPA update, all right? That should solve some of your bugs and little funny problems that your device may have, all right? That just basically cleans up your memory and all of that stuff for the new update, all right? Yo, peace. We love you. Me and Ivan, we like to say, peace.